Well, God bless you. This is the year 2017. I am so grateful to be with you. I am Dr. Sonia C. Blackwell, lead pastor and founder of FMM Life Church, where we look forward to lifting you to life. In the year 2017, the word is trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, tells us in the 5th and the 6th verse, around the 5th and 6th verse, that cursed is the man that trusteth in flesh. Cursed is the man who puts their trust in the arm of flesh. We have to trust in God. Because immediately the 7th and the 8th verse tells us in that same chapter, blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. And so that is our genre, that is our theme for the year 2017. No matter what's going on around us, no matter what the chaos is, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter what has transpired, we're trusting in the Lord. Some of you all crossed over from 2016 into 2017, and you're concerned about many things that had transpired in 2016. But I challenge you in the year 2017 to trust in the Lord. Lift yourself to life. You say, well, how do I lift myself to life? The Bible says one can chase a flight, a thousand, one thousand, two, ten thousand. Get an agreement with someone this year and put to flight all of the obstacles, all of the distractions, all of the roadblocks that may have tried to stop you in the year 2016 and in 2017, be determined to let the enemy know you're not in this thing by yourself and not only are you not in it by yourself, you're in it to win it. I was telling some of the people upon Sunday morning, that's right, January the 1st, the first day of the new year was a Sunday. We crossed over into this new year on the Lord's Day. And you can tell the enemy you made it. You say, what do you mean you made, you made it? He came to steal in 2016. He came to destroy in 2016. He came to bring death and chaos in your life in 2016. But in 2017, you can wave your finger like we did when we were little kids. Nah, 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 nah. I made it. You crossed over and you crossed over in victory. You say, well, how did I cross over in victory? Because you're still clothed in your right mind. You still have a desire to go on and you're going to be the better for it. You're going to be stronger for it. You're going to be wiser for it. You're going to be more intuitive for it. You're going to be more powerful for it. You're going to be more enlightened for it. You say, well, how do you know, woman of God, that I'm going to be more enlightened? Because you went through that dark place. Notice what I said. You went through that dark place. You came out on the other side and you came out in victory. You're not a survival, people. You are an overcomer. You say, wait a minute, slow down, woman of God. I thought I survived. You know, there is this, give you an example. When you go to the doctor and the doctor tells you, you're a cancer survivor. And then the very next thing he says is, but there's a chance for it to come back. You survived it this time, but there's a chance for it to come back back. That's surviving. But you didn't survive, you overcame. Not only did you overcome, you're more than a conqueror. What does more than a conqueror mean? That means no matter what rises up against you, you're more than what rises up against you. It will never have the upper hand on you again. I'm going to say that one more time. You, it will never have the upper hand 
on you again. Because not only did you survive it, after you survive it, you overcame it. And after you overcame it, you put it in your past and you became more than a conqueror. And whatever's in your past is exactly that is past, is done, is over, is gone. Because you are an overcomer and you are more than a conqueror. So in the year 2017, continue to say, I trust in the Lord. In the year 2017, you need to continue to say, I'm blessed and I'm more than a conqueror. If you don't hear anything else, every time it feels like you're going down, you look at your situation and say, I'm more than my situation. When the bills stack up, look at your bills and say, I'm bigger than you bills. I'm better than you. I'm better than the obstacles that are before me. And I've already conquered it. And if I've already conquered it, it'll never rise above me again. Now, some people out there would say, well, that's just good thinking. That's positive thinking. No, that's standing on the word of God. That's more than positive thinking. Because if you can think positively, you can think negatively. But when you stand on the word of God, God says, I change it not. And he also says that my word must perform wherever I sent it into. And it never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Now, I just heard somebody say, wait a minute. You said God is the same. That doesn't mean his word is the same. Yes, it does. Because God and the word are one. You say, woman of God, what do you mean? The Bible tells us in John, the first chapter, in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God and without him was nothing made that was made. So the word was in the beginning. So God and the word are one. So if you trust in God, if you lean on God, you're leaning on that word and his word changes not and his word cannot return unto him void. We're here for you in the year 2017 to live to life, live to life. We're not going to let you be defeated. We're not going to let you be destroyed. We, we come into an agreement with you right now that you are that more than conqueror, more than a conqueror. We come into an agreement with you right now that you are an overcomer and you were an overcomer. We come into an agreement with you right now that whatever it is you think you're going through, whatever it is you think is bigger than you, understand you're bigger than it is. You say, well, woman of God, can you give me one more scripture to prove that? Sure. The word of God tells us greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. There's nothing greater than your God. Our God is greater. Yes, the psalmist penned that song. Our God is greater. Our God is bigger. There, there's nothing greater than him. There's nothing higher than him. My friends, even my enemies, we serve a true and living God. And know that in the year 2017, he has not forgotten you. He has not forsaken you. And all of his promises are yea and amen. But in this season, you got to speak it out of your mouth. Because the power of life and death is in your tongue. Come on and join us this coming Sunday at 8401 Angels Drive, Plano, Texas at the Spring Hill Marriott Suites and we ask you to tune in every week because soon we're going to be moving to our own location where we're able to have training, we're able to do teaching, we're able to inspire and encourage individuals one-on-one -on -one as well as corporately. So continue to tune in and please know that you're welcome to join us on our prayer line every Monday through Friday. Reach out to us on Facebook at FMM Life. Reach out to us on Facebook at FMM Life and at Twitter at Dr. SCB. Dr. SCB at Twitter. And I look to connect with you very soon. God bless you and God keep you in this prosperous year.